After learning about the incident, more city leaders say she needs to step down. And this while the school's chancellor remains silent on the matter. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner has this. More than 100 Asian Americans and City Councilman Chaim Deutsch riled up at a school board meeting in Gravesend Tuesday. On stage, elected Community Education Council 22 member Jackie Cody. Back in September, in an online forum for school leaders, she wrote the following about the mayor's plan to eliminate standardized tests for specialized high schools. Quote, to be blunt, certain whites and certain yellow folks on this listserv continue to focus on a very narrow view. What they're advocating for is damaging to white and yellow children as well. It sounds very insensitive to me. It's not something I think anyone should say. Knowing the chancellor immediately, the chancellor would say that's inappropriate and wrong. I honestly do not know, and I will find out today what the chancellor's abilities to remove an elected official are. We came and waited outside the chancellor's office to see if he would take five minutes to speak with us about this issue. We were told multiple times he's not available. Then by phone we asked, and what about the Deputy Chancellor Adrian Austin. We were told she's probably in meetings. Previously, a spokesperson said the agency was deeply disappointed by the unacceptable remark, but the agency has limited oversight in addressing school board members' conduct. Education Council Chair Mark Traeger says that's not true. Albany just granted the mayor and the chancellor an extension of mayoral control. I don't see how she can effectively continue to serve. Cody did apologize at this week's board meeting, but the Asian Americans in attendance said it felt insincere and they're concerned about her representing the 20% of Asian Americans that reside in her district. The co-chairs of the volunteer consortium that oversees school boards say the community voted her in and she cannot be removed. How do we heal from this? He added that Cody did resign from the steering committee last month. In Lower Manhattan, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. We did try to reach Jackie Cody again today, and she did not return our calls. A chancellor spokesperson did not respond when we asked if he requested Cody's resignation.